Hello everyone, fantastic news. I actually decided to make my really popular auto landscape material free for everyone. So how do you get it? You go to the Epic Marketplace, you go to search products, you're going to type in MAWI, which will get you straight to our store page with all our other great products, which are unmatched in quality and performance by anything else. You go to landscape auto material, click on it, add it to your launcher and then add it to the project that you're working on. So let's jump right into the editor and I'm going to show you how it actually works. So we want to go to the landscape tool. We want to go to manage, we want to go new, import file, and then we want to import a height map file. I just downloaded one randomly from the internet. This one is 2K. We're going to open it up. Um, and then we want to assign one of the example materials that the auto material comes with. So you go to auto material, you go to materials, you go to landscape, and then there's like three examples to choose from. In this case, we're going to use the mountain range example. So we add this and then we hit import. And that's pretty much it. The material automatically distributes all the different textures onto your landscape, fully automatic. You don't have to do anything. It just works. And this also works on static meshes and landscape actors. So let's have a look a little closer. We go down here It actually distributes procedurals as well. So it spawns grass and little rocks. And one thing to keep in mind with this material is there are no paint layers. Like you see, the layers are empty because the material itself distributes them all automatically. There is a remove foliage layer, which you can use, for example, you want to place down a house and then you don't want the grass and stones to peek through the house floor. So you can use this one to paint out the grass in these areas. But everything else is controlled by the material itself. So um, let's fly over here to the mountain to have a look at the layer distribution. And we're actually going to leave the landscape tool and we open up the example. Okay, let's collapse these guys and what this, what this. Okay, so these are the different layers that are automatically spawned. And the material uses the landscape height information and the surface angle to decide which layers are showing up. One important thing to keep in mind is these layers are kind of like Photoshop layers, like this is the bottom one. And then this one gets covered up by stones, get covered up by grass, dirt, water, snow. So depending on what settings you have here, the, the top one might cover up all the other layers. So you have to be careful when you working with the material to not like cover up your bottom layer that you actually want to show. So let's have a look at the grass one. So in here, there's a couple of checkboxes. For example, you can use uh, advanced uh, material settings, which are just like giving you color correction and some other stuff. Then so the advanced UVs where you can decide the, the tiling and the size of the texture on the landscape. And you can tell it to either spawn the procedural grass or not. And this is one of the most important values. This actually tells the material, like, what's the maximum height the grass is actually allowed to grow at. For example, I don't want my top to be covered in grass, so you can easily measure the height of the landscape. For example, we want the grass to actually stop growing like around here. So we let's drop down an empty actor. We go into the details. And in location, we go to the Z information, we copy it and then paste it into the material. And as you can see, the grass now stops growing at that height. And all the layers actually have this functionality. So you can kind of tell it to what's the maximum height that, allow, that layer is allowed to grow at. So this is one important feature to tell it how to distribute this. So that's reset this one and to actually turn it back off. And then the other one is the power and the power is the angle of the surface. For example, you, you want the grass to actually grow more on top of the rock and like cover up more of the stones. Let's have a look at the slope thing here. 
For example, let's lower this one down to like one. You see now the grass actually grows like a lot more dense and covers up a lot more of the landscape. You can also increase this to expose more of the rock. So the higher the number, the tighter the angle will be, so pointing upwards. And then the lower the number, the more brighter, wider range of angle is allowed for the layer to show up. So these are the two most important, uh, these are the two most important values you want to tweak. Obviously there's specularity you can tweak, the roughness, and each layer, like don't be fooled by the name, I just picked them because those are the most common ones to use, but this doesn't necessarily need to be grass. You can just replace any texture in any layer and have it be whatever you want it to be. So that's pretty much it. Like it's it's very fast, very easy to use. It's drag and drop. You import your height field, you drag the material on it and you're done with it and you can start tweaking. Um, one thing you might want to do is to actually make a copy of this and then make your own material so you keep the examples so you can go back and see what kind of settings are cool and then you can modify your own. So yeah, that's it. I hope everybody finds this really useful. Um, I'm going to make another video that talks about the baking of layers because this also has the functionality to bake these layers down into splat maps and then import them into a regular landscape material. But this is, this is too complex to put it all in one video. So I'm going to show you that in another video at some point. So yeah, thanks and uh, enjoy and uh, see you. Bye bye.